Hey guys, Josh here with Alpha Omega Survival. In this video, I'm going to share with you a dream I had um, six years ago this month, actually, in July of 2015. It's a dream that came to me from God, and it's concerning the judgment of our country, the United States of America. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so without dragging this out too much, um, I'm sure that you've got questions already. Uh, you know, how do you know it came from God? And uh, are you sure it wasn't just a dream? And unless you've experienced something like this, I'm not sure if that's really something I can answer. Uh, but I am a dreamer. I have dreams all the time. And this, this one was just different. This one... Uh, the clarity, the importance of it in my heart, just the meaning of it, and it was just different. It's hard to explain, but um, most of my dreams, anyways, are kind of crazy. They're out there. They're wild. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's, you know, it'll be <clears throat> something like I'm, you know, paddling down a creek, and there's a bunch of dinosaurs, and, um, or whatever, or I'm hunting, you know, a big buck and it turns into a cardboard cutout or something like, you know, something crazy, um, something wild and strange, or I'm in one place and next thing I know I'm in another place and uh, I have no idea what's going on. So those are my normal type of dreams. This dream was so completely different and so completely, um, clear and intense and the, there was a specific meaning and it was just focused and I knew what was going on um it's just, it was just completely different and I know 100% that this came from God and he would not have given this to me if he didn't want me to share it so uh, let's get into it um I actually wrote this down when I had the dream um but looking back on it, it's actually not even necessary um, because to this day, I remember every single detail, um, just like I had it, just like I just woke up from it. I mean, it is wild. Most dreams I forget, this one, actually pretty much every dream that I've, I've pretty much forgotten most of the details of, but this one I remember like it was yesterday. So um, basically, I found myself walking with my cousin. Now, I'm not going to mention any names, but uh, my cousin is a pastor, and we grew up together. We're like brothers, basically, and um, we were walking through a desert at night, okay? So, to kind of put that in perspective, it was sand dunes as far as you could see, and it was a darkness that was uh, engulfing. And that's very important. All of these things, I will do another video with the meaning of some of these things, but it's very important. We are walking through a desert and this pitch black dark. No stars, no nothing. Pitch black dark. I don't know how we could see where we were going. Maybe that ties into it. I actually hadn't thought of that. Um, we're walking. We're not talking at all. We're just walking in silence. And... Um, it was almost, there was like a sense of importance. There was a sense of duty, a sense of um, that something was about to happen, that we were getting ready for something to happen. Okay, so we are climbing up these dunes and we kind of crest the top, and the moon rose up. It was like a full moon, and it was shining so bright it was like almost hurting your eyes, but. When we looked up, it wasn't the moon. Like you'd go out on a full moon and you see it shining. It wasn't the moon. It was the United States. Okay, so we come up. This we see it rise up and it's shining and it's the a picture of the United States. Like you would look at a map. No question about it. Every state was outlined, and it even had 
every state's the initials, you know, like when you look at a map, you see like um, NC and FL and GA and all everything. It was completely, there was no question about it, the United States of America. And it was shining like super bright, like crazy bright, really brilliant. And next thing I know, I didn't hear anything, but I see these words like scrolling across my vision, like like right here, just scrolling across the middle of your vision, right? Like it's across the screen. And it said, I will shake the lands of, and I knew this to be God that was talking. It wasn't talking like you can hear me, but it was, you know, internal. I could see the words, the message, and I could hear it inside. So, I will shake the lands of, and then the last word, it was like he removed it from my memory. Everything else I remember, every single detail in clarity, I remember, I mean, if I knew how to like really work a computer, I could probably make a computer generated version of it. Like I remember everything, like the angles, how we were walking, what it looked like, except for this one word. I will shake the lands of. I remember the first letter, and that's it. It was an A. Now, some of you say, well, it's America. But the thing is, is this last word was not English. I will shake the lands of. And then I understood the word to be a place, not somewhere that's, you know, just random, but a place. And I understood this dream to be concerning America. But the word was not English. So I don't know what the word was. Um, like I said, God removed that particular word. I don't know why. I don't have a fair guess, so I'm not even going to try. I've, I really, in the, for a while, I, I was really trying to research it and try and figure out what that word could be, and there's just no, no way that I could figure it out. Um, but you know what? That also means to me that that's something that is not necessarily uh, exceedingly important for me to know if God didn't reveal it to me. So that's what he said. I will shake the lands of, and then that word, that was removed. It was a foreign language removed, okay? And that was it. So it was a very short, concise dream. I woke up, and... You know, my heart was beating and I, my heart was racing. Obviously, it was beating, but it was racing. And I was like, what in the world is going on here? And I knew that there was definitely something to it, right? So I wrote it down and I actually took it to my pastor. Um, not my cousin who's a pastor, a different, my pastor. And because he's going to give it to me straightforward, you know, and I asked him what he thought about dreams and, you know, and he, we had, we kind of share the same view and he was like, well, you know, I think so most dreams are just dreams. And I agree. Um, I sent him what I had written down and he got back to me and he was like, this is different. He was like, I, he agreed with me. He was like, I think you might actually have something here. So, um, of course, you know, then I'm like, whoa, but, um, I, I told my cousin about it as well. Um, but I've kind of kept it to myself really. And I don't think that's fair. So now it's out there. Um, that is the dream. Pretty short, concise, um, and I think that's a lot of times how God works, right? He kind of, um, if, if he's given us a message, he doesn't really beat around the bush, right? He just, that's the message. And then he'll reveal it to us or he won't reveal it to us. But I did some research and there was a lot of symbolism and it even got even more wild once I did the research and I looked into the significance of some of the things that were in there. 
Um, and I'll make another video here to, to follow up with this. But I don't really want you to, you guys to have to watch me drone on and on in one video. So I'll, this, I'll cut this off and I'll do uh, the second video with the symbolism and some verses to back it up. It's not just me conjecturing um, and some meaning behind it. All right. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, feel free to comment below and like and hit that subscribe button. Thanks.